Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. And why pay twice? I am a sufferer of CAD, checkout anxiety disorder. It's probably not what you think. It's not a result of chronic overspending. I never make a purchase without making sure I have the funds in my account to cover that purchase. No, my CAD is triggered by something entirely different. It all began innocently enough, but it soon escalated out of control. I would ask if I could pay for my best friend's groceries on occasion, just to bless her. I would also offer to give her gas money. When she wouldn't accept, I would hide a $20 bill in her car center console. In retaliation, she would sneak some items from my shopping cart into her order so she could pay for it. My anxiety and hers grew every time we neared the cashier line at any grocery store. Trying to unload our shopping carts while keeping our eyes on the cashier's monitor was hard enough. Attempting to pass a clandestine blessing onto my friend while ensuring she wasn't paying for any of my order added to the stress. I realized the foolishness of our competitive hearts one day as we stood in the checkout line at our local supermarket. My friend took a can of pop from my shopping cart when my back was turned. Once it was paid for, she temporarily placed that can on top of the counter. In the meanwhile, I was searching for that can of pop and noticed it on the counter. I put it back on the conveyor belt, thinking it had not yet been paid for. That drink was paid for twice by the time I realized what we had done. I broke into giggles as I confessed my CAD. We called it a truce. Enough was enough. It seemed we took Paul's exhortation to the Romans a little too seriously. Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Romans 12:10. All too often, though, I suffer from checkout anxiety disorder, CAD, in my prayer closet. God asked me to surrender all my worries to him and give up any pretense of engaging him in a tug of war to see who will pay the bill. He already paid the price. His nail-scarred hands are proof of that payment. They're stronger than my own, and his arms are mighty to save. This is a quote from Hannah Whittall Smith from the book, The Christian Secret of a Happy Life. And it is an older book that you can get online for free. Most Christians are like a man who was toiling along the road, bending under a heavy burden. When a wagon overtook him and the driver kindly offered to help him on the journey, he joyfully accepted the offer, but when seated, continued to bend underneath his load. Why do you not lay down your burden? joked the kind-hearted driver. Oh, replied the man, I feel that it's almost too much for me to ask you to carry me, and I could not think of letting you carry my burden as well. And so Christians who have given themselves into the care and keeping of the Lord Jesus continue to bend beneath the weight of their burden and often go weary and heavy laden throughout the whole length of their journey. Jesus paid it all. He paid the price. He will carry our burdens if we just give them to him. The next time you're thinking that this is your cross to bear or this is your burden to bear, remember the picture of that foolish man sitting in the wagon, still with the heavy burden on his back.